On this episode of Singapore's Unsolved Mystery, we cover the horrifying massacre of the Tan children. In 1979, Mr. Tan Quen Chai and his wife, Li Mei Ying, lived in a one-room apartment in Geylang Baru, together with their four children, 10-year-old Tan Kok Ping, 8-year-old Tan Kok Hin, 6-year-old Tan Kok Sun, and the only daughter was 5-year-old Tan Chin Ni. The couple operated a mini bus service that transported students to school. So in 6 January 1979, at 6.35am, the couple left for work while their children were asleep at that time. At 7.10am, their mother phoned them three times to wake them up, but received no answer. She proceeded to ask a neighbour to help wake the children up. The neighbour knocked on the door, but received no replies. After 10am, the couple returned home and Lee found the bodies of her children in the bathroom. The children's bodies were dressed in their t-shirt and underwear and were left piled on each other with slash wounds on their head. The children had at least 20 slash wounds each. The right arm of Kok Peng, the oldest child, was almost severe while Chin Ni, the youngest child, had slash wounds on her face. Now, this investigation was later conducted by the Special Investigation Section of the Criminal Investigation Department. The police were unable to identify a motive, but inferred that the murders were motivated by vengeance. The killer was careful not to leave any evidence behind. As bloodstains were found in the kitchen sink, the killer's or killer appeared to have cleaned himself or themselves before leaving. And there was no evidence of forced entry and the flat has not been ransacked and no items were reported missing. The murder's weapons, believed to be a cleaver or a dagger, were never found. And the eldest son, Kok Ping, were believed to have put up a fight with the killer as several strands of long hair were found in his right hand. So, question, if he has the long hair on his hand, right, then how come they cannot find the murderer? DNA was only invented in the 1986, okay. and then this was in the 1970s. So like probably they do not have any database at that point of time to conduct any DNA testing. Ah, okay. Now the police interviewed over 100 of Mr. Tang family's neighbor and made public appeals for witnesses but to no avail. Two weeks after the murder, the couple received a Chinese New Year greeting card depicting happy children playing with the words, now you can have no more offsprings. Ha ha ha. All this is written in Chinese and signing off as the murderer. As the sender addressed the parents by their personal nicknames A Chai and A Ying, police believe that the killer is someone with close relations to the Tan family. Till this day, no one has been convicted and the murderer was never caught. With that, let's talk about some possible theories. Theory number one, illegal tontin skip. The children's uncle told the press that the murders could have been related to an illegal tontin scheme and the killer was possibly a discontented gambler. However, the couple told the media that they have not offended anyone. And as you know, no murderer was ever found. This is just a speculation with no evidence. Theory number two, killed by their neighbor. A taxi driver reported that on that day of the murder, a man in his 20s boarded his taxi near the Tan's home at about 8 a.m. This man, a Malaysian man, had blood stains on his left side of the body and carried a knife. The children's father matched the taxi driver's description to one of their neighbours. In the police lineup, the taxi driver picked up the same neighbour as the man who has boarded his taxi. However, the neighbour was released after two weeks due to the lack of evidence connecting him to the murders. So what do you think? Do you think a discontented gambler murdered the Tan children? Or do you think it was done by their neighbour? Our heart goes out to the victims and their family and we do hope that more information will be revealed in the future. But for now, this case remains unsolved. We hope that this video has brought awareness that low crime does not mean no crime. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share and subscribe, subscribe if you want to see more of Christine. Comment down below what unsolved mystery do you want us to cover next. Would you leave your kids at home alone? Actually, I don't know. Would you?